Hey everyone, Craig here with Cost Certified. As you can see, I'm building a quote out for a client right now, and I wanted to showcase the easy ways of saving the different items within your quote. So there's a couple different things that we need to look at. First things first, the quote itself. So I've built a demolition and I'm starting to build a kitchen demolition assembly, and I wanna save that specifically to the quote and only the quote. To do that, I'm gonna go down to the bottom right where it says save, and I'm just gonna click save, save changes. And that will allow the items to be saved into this specific quote only. Now, if I want to save the items for use you know, at a later date, so for example, maybe I wanna reuse this demolition one in another quote, I would literally go to the three dots and go save as a new searchable item. When I do this, it is going to put this little symbol, um, a stack of three coins or however you want to call it, um, for you to know that it's been saved into your library. Now the same thing can be done within an assembly. Now inside this kitchen assembly, I haven't put anything in yet. So I'm actually going to take this demolition one, click on it, hold it, and I'm going to drag it into the kitchen demolition. and then. There could be other items that maybe I want to add into here at a later date, but for right now, I only want to have the demolition within the assembly. I'm going to click on the three dots again, and I'm going to go save as a new searchable assembly. And there you have it. So we've now saved two items, an assembly and an item directly into your library, as well as we've saved the quote specifically too. Now, if you make any changes to anything, so for example, if I'm going to update this demolition, to scroll down and maybe I want to change the hourly rate. I'm going to say it's gone up to $35 an hour, which raises to $50 an hour for your client to pay. I'm going to close up to the side and you'll see this adjust here. Now, if I don't save or update this, it stays the same as it was. So we want to make sure that we do update it. So I'm going to click on the three dots again and I'm going to go update searchable item. I won't click on save searchable item again because if I do it the system will just tell me that it's already in there so for example I will get a red box here that the item is already in there so if you've already saved it you just want to update it all you need to do is click the three dots and update the searchable item now because I did that here I'm also going to do that up in the kitchen demolition section for the assembly as well same rules apply if I've already saved it I don't need to do that again I'm just going to update the assembly